We've all been there. You're sudsing up in a warm shower when suddenly you realize you really need to pee. It's a dilemma. Do you hold it until you can towel off and step to the toilet? Or do you just let it go and watch your urine swirl down the drain? If you choose to pee in the shower, you're not alone. 76% of people admitted to doing it in a recent survey by Showers to You, a UK-based bath and shower company. After all, the sound of running water is kind of famous for making people feel the urge to go. Science suggests that since running water sounds like peeing, your brain might have a natural association between the two. Classic Pavlovian response. That waterfall noise might also enhance your parasympathetic nervous system, increasing muscle activity in your bladder while relaxing muscles around your urethra the hole that lets urine flow out of your body. So peeing in the shower is totally normal, but is it okay? This is Dr. Jamin Brombot, a urologist and assistant professor of medicine at UCF College of Medicine in Florida. And so urine is that thing that sometimes we've got to run to the bathroom and, and evacuate, but urine can be of different colors, different scents, and have different things inside of it. But we really need to know what's in urine to really understand exactly why it could be a problem or could not be a problem. Practically speaking, urine is sterile. And sterile is a very vague term sometimes, but essentially sterile means that it probably doesn't have anything in it that could cause any really bad infections. And at the same time, it probably doesn't have anything in it that can be of much benefit to you beyond just you know, feeling better once you go pee. To understand why taking a leak in the shower is a pretty safe move, consider what pee is made of. Although your urine's composition can vary based on your fluid intake, dietary habits, medications, and substance use, pee is typically 91 to 96% water, and it has a relatively neutral pH like water too. The other four to 9% of your urine is made up of salts, such as sodium and potassium, and up to 3,100 different substances produced during your body's metabolic processes. The most prevalent metabolites in pee are urea and creatinine, substances filtered from your kidneys, the organs that make urine. All day long, your kidneys, which are located just below your rib cages, filter waste and excess compounds from your blood to make urine. Then, urine flows from your kidneys to your bladder through tubes called ureters. When you empty your bladder in the bathroom, you release substances your body doesn't want anymore. But just because it's waste, that doesn't mean it's harmful to the world outside. Your pee is unlikely to damage your shower or your drain. If you were to pee, whether it's in your shower or hopefully not someone else's shower, urine can have some bacteria in them. And in a lot of cases, if there is bacteria in there, it's usually just such small amounts of bacteria that it's not gonna lead to any infection but there are times that we do worry, and that is if you have an active urinary tract infection. That is when the amount of microorganisms inside your body, so the amount of bugs in your body, are millions. So when you have a lot more of these bugs, and that's why you're gonna feel these rip-roaring symptoms of urinary tract infections, those same bugs can stay in areas around where they've been evacuated. Like even then, the chance of it causing something bad in, you know, to you externally, I would say it's very, very rare. Still, no matter how clean it is, the thought of pee hitting your foot or your inner thigh midstream might gross you out. If that happens, just wash it off. That's what the shower is for. A little pee probably won't hurt your skin and is unlikely to cause an infection in a minor cut or wound. All right, guys, so let's put life into perspective here. You're walking around the beach or your pool or in, even in your own house without socks on or anything on your feet, there's a lot more bugs you're picking up that way than the bugs you're gonna pick up in the shower if there is some urine in there. Now you might have heard a rumor that intentionally peeing on a wound could help your skin heal or even treat certain skin problems. Perhaps you remember that Friends episode where Chandler pees on Monica's jellyfish sting to soothe the pain? We're here to tell you, don't go that far. Because honestly, when you look at the actual science behind some of these theories, there's very little science behind it. Some people feel it's because there's a certain amount of urea, which it comes from the breakdown of protein in your body. They feel like urea is beneficial to wound healing and keeping things clean and killing off other bugs. That is true, but not when it's coming from your urine. So please, 
please, please, please don't be peeing on yourself thinking it's gonna help you with wound healing, because it's probably not. While peeing in the shower is okay for you, it could be really good for the planet because you could save some water by giving your toilet a rest. Every time you flush the toilet, you use between 1.28 gallons of water, if you have a modern eco-friendly toilet, and six gallons, if you have an old school commode. Meanwhile, showers use about 2.5 gallons of water per minute. So depending on the length of your pee, the math might work out in your favor. The average American takes about 6.4 showers per week, so the impact could really add up over time. Of course, you can also save a few sheets of toilet paper each time you pee in the shower and rinse off instead of wiping. The bottom line? Don't feel bad about using your shower as a toilet. It's a relatively safe habit that might even be good for the earth.